Okay guys, so here we are with the Sightmark 8.5 by 25 um, with the 50mm uh, objective lens. Um, I'm recording this audio over the video here in a little bit of sections just because the wind was really bad that day. So we're going to sight it in. Um, we're just shy of 100 yards. Um, we've got some Tula. Um, nothing fancy to a soft tip picked it up real cheap um, I don't typically I'm telling you in the video here I don't typically shoot you know 100 yards yada 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 here in Michigan most of the hunting I do is you know 70 some yards within I hunt pretty dense woods over by my property um, I don't get the opportunity much to hunt uh, much in the way of cornfields or anything like that so most of the shots I'm typically taking are not that far um, Truth be told, this is actually only my second time even shooting at 100 yards, and things go really, really well, and I attribute a lot of it to this optic. Um, you'll see what's, what I'm saying here as I get things going on and get it all set up, but it really, really is a very nice piece. Uh, I picked this one up on sale, and I'm super happy with it, so let's just get right into it here. because I had to sight it in about like 40 50 yards um, and it was just slightly right that could have been me so I'm gonna make a little adjustment here and then we will take a look the sight mark scope I've been enjoying um, Okay guys, so like I said, we were out there with the uh, MMP-10, uh, according to my little laser uh, rangefinder, it was about 95 yards or so. Um, this was the first shot, a little high and left like I said. Um, after my first adjustment, the next two landed here. Um, I'm not a long range shooter, so I just kind of wanted to adjust it to see how far the adjustment was going to go at that range. Then my third adjustment was this group here. And I'm really happy with that. That's just Tula, uh, 165 grain. Uh, cheap stuff was on sale. And like I said, that rifle will eat just about anything. Um, and it has been, you know, very, very reliable. Uh, so yeah, super happy with that result. Uh, let's go get inside and get warm and we'll talk about it some more. All right guys, so I'm just getting the editing finished up here on the site mark video. Um, you know, as you saw, um, and as I explained in the video, I'm not, by any means a professional long range shooter, nor even somebody that's very practiced in it. But this scope uh, works so well and was so intuitive to use, you know, once you just kind of sat there and, you know, thought it out, right? You know, well, it was one eighth or one click per one eighth MOA. Um, <clears throat> you know, the, uh, the turrets were very accurate. It only took me three adjustments, you know, and I, and I'm not typically very versed in, you know, long range adjustments, but it only took me, uh, three adjustments to get right there where I wanted to be, um, with some nice, you know, deer kill shots. Um, it was Tula ammo, nothing, nothing special at all. Tula, I think it was like 165 grain, or 162 grain or something. 
I said it in the video. Um, I don't have it here in front of me. But um, you get what you pay for with optics. You know, I do a lot of reviews on cheap optics. And I don't have a problem with cheap optics most of the time. You know, I really don't. Like, unless they break. And then it's a whole other story. But, um, <clears throat> you know, I feel like most of the time you can do what you need to do with a 50 to $80 scope, you know. But when you have the money and you get a nicer one, you really do get what you pay for. The glass was incredibly clear. Um, I could see at 100 yards what holes I was putting in. If I, if I just kind of stopped and looked for a second, that's kind of what I figured out later in the video. I didn't need to walk down to the whole target. Um, it was great. You know, I've never had anything uh, scope-wise that had the uh, range you know, focal adjustment on, on the left side, you know, having it right there instead of having to reach out and, you know, toggle the whole end of the scope was a lot easier, you know, I will say that, and it was, you know, a really smooth, really quick adjustment, and, uh, you know, the reticle was very nice, uh, everything about it was very nice, I have, I have no complaints about this thing whatsoever, so, you know, it's, it's a bit big, you know, it is a big scope, uh, it does come, you know, with some sort of high-rise mounts, so it will fit on your ARs. That was a AR-10 we had in the video. Um, you know, so right there out of the box, you know, it should go on just about anything that's got your Picatinny rails. They are at a fairly decent price point, usually around like $250, $260. That's like the retail. Um, but you can pick them up on sale, you know, for a lot less. I actually I scored this one, I think, for around $175. And believe it or not, $175 for an optic for me is still expensive because I'm a cheap ass. Um, but I, like I said, I'm, I'm super, super happy with it. So, you know, hopefully, you know, I'll get off my cheapskate, you know, routine one day here as this channel picks up. If it ever actually generates income or something, and maybe we can get some nicer stuff. But for now, that's, I think that's probably the nicest one, except for, we have a, we have a BSA. That is a pretty nice one that maybe we'll do a review on eventually. I've had that one for a while now. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's my thoughts on it. You can't go wrong. Um, definite win. Uh, I would tell you otherwise. So, you know, go out and get yourself one. I hope that helps. You guys have a good Christmas.